at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. It is week 16 in the NFL, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the New York Jets. Christmas Eve to all. What a good one we have in store as we are underway here in week 16. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. That's caught inside the 20. First touchdown on the year. And the Commanders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. In the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lines. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and it's now a 7 nothing game. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 22 yard line. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 22. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. First down. First and 10 at the 46 yard line. On first down, right back to Hall. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, this defense for the Commanders, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Washington. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. From just shy of midfield, here's second down at seven. Throwing is Wilson. Oh, the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Chase Young in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. You've caught plenty of games in your career. Do you believe in momentum, my man? I do, and I think we're seeing it right here. Oh, there's no doubt about it. The run that he's been on. How about that? Three sacks in a game a week ago, and another one right here. Oh, he's feeling it in a big way. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Chase Young drops him again for the second straight play, and it brings up fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Second and ten. A very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. 
<laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Off play action. It's Hal. Throw to the right here, taken in by McLaurin. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive, and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Here's Hal. But it's caught. Tompkins. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it brings up third and five now. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he can get a good head of steam going. Third and five. With a play fake, and now here's Hal to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Commanders lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Slide for the PAT. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive as we grind toward the end of the season here and they haven't had the season that they had hoped so let me ask you to play GM where might they look to make some changes I think when you look into the upcoming draft think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen they've got to get stouter up front and as a GM it always tells me Charles this is a big boy league and big people always end up winning games for you from the 21, here's the second and five. Ball again on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. You talk about this Washington defense. Against the pass, just numbers that they haven't liked. Number 30 in the league right now. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. They'll run with Hall. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. 
This is second and eight. Play action. Now Wilson escapes it, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. Chase Young, what a start to this ball game. Still in the first quarter, and he now has three sacks on pace for double digits. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. Now inside the 25, Garrett Wilson. Now the right end. Touchdown, New York. Garrett Wilson, 81 yards. And the Jets have got it back to within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive. Oh, this is blocked. Picked up by the offense. This is a live ball. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. After one, 14-6 our score on EA Sports. play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Faking the handoff. Howell. And it's a short one here. Complete to his tight end. Now third and six. Howell throwing on third down here. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there on the catch and run. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. That turned into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roll and picked up big yardage. First down, how to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Touchdown! A big play there. With two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Commanders go up by two touchdowns. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second year quarterback. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. At their own 14 yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense. Look at this! 
middle of the field, a breakaway. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 51 yards. Uh, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And to get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. Down to the 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall with his 13th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Jets are able to cut into that deficit. Well, what a first half he's had running the football. Another terrific run there, and this one finds the end zone. Well, we know he's a guy who's capable of coming up with big plays in the running game, and his offensive line knows it as well. That keeps them motivated, looking for those extra blocks to give him room to run downfield. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut the lead to 21-17. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. They'll go play action. Howell. He's going to let this one go deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Throwing here, Howell. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They get 17 there. Good for a commander's first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Here we go, Shaq! Now throwing on first down here. He's going to air one out. First shot in there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Well, he's been the guy already over 100 yards here in the first half. Could have had a lot more if he would have been able to haul that one in. Yeah, in fact, our statistician Marvin was already handing me a piece of paper with that yardage totaled on it. He thought that catch was going to happen just as you and I did as well. Here's second and ten. Try a little trickery here on the end around. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out and now allow him to cut up field. Now how? Target is to Dotson and he's got him. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 29-yard line. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Go! 
So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29 yard line. And Howe will throw it. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And now fall incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fun in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second and 10. Second and 10, Howell. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game, but after driving so far, you absolutely... but they need a full 10 yards here. Hal, he'll look to throw it. And incomplete on the deep ball. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he can make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. And that is no good. And this will stay a one-score game as the lead holds at eight. So an eight-play drive gets him down there, but play number nine, that winds up a missed field goal. And they definitely move the ball well. That's a drive where you hate to come away with nothing. It's coming up now to start their next drive. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out. It's caught inside the 25. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Hall on a give up the middle. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Second and six. Play action. It's Wilson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. There's Wilson to throw. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Garrett Wilson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jets have cut the lead back down to two. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But well, let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you. Every so they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get an intercept and it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on it. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Now this is going to be returned from the back line of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. And 
Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing. And they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. 